Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our groups on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about Absalom Spirit. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now calling you our director, our keeper, our savior. You are the you are the awesome captain of the Lord all means and we praise you, Lord. We ask you to open up our ear to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God. Release fresh revelation and confirmation of your word. Release healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, miracles. In Jesus' name, Amen. Absalom Spirit. The existence of a spirit of Absalom or an Absalom spirit is a concept tied to certain views of demonic abuse. In some versions of the Christmatic faith, demons are considered to be the cause of almost every illness, particularly spiritual ones. Deliverance ministries claim the ability to ex exercise or cast out those evil spirits thereby removing those problems in order to develop this target mythology and vague reference from the Bible are inflated into grand ideas about the spiritual world. An Absalom spirit is named for Absalom the third son of David who built an open rebellion against his father. Those who believe in a huge arrangement of harsh demons that apply the label of Absalom to temptations such as diso disobedience of spiritual authority, forming cliches within a church, or lack of proper submission. Uh, often blamed the, the Absalom spirit for gossip, criticism, or of a pastor or church division. Some other views put down adoration, admiration, false humility, or hunger for power to a specific demonic presence. Of course, since the idea of an Absalom spirit is based mainly talk with very little truth, it comes with a confusing range of interpretations. Two people were, were I mean, who believe in the Absalom spirit might have identical or entirely opposite views of what it does and how they operate. The same features, the same features blamed on a spirit of Absalom are often associated with other demons assigned names such as Ahab, Leviathan, Jezebel, and Delilah. Scripture gives no reason to think there is a demonic under named Absalom or that Christians have the power to identify or rebuke it. Now, nowhere does the Bible's hints that there, is, there are especially demons responsible for a specific sin or attitudes and the Bible does not mention a category of evil spirits communicating to the historical Absalom. The teaching of an Absalom spirit goes well beyond what the Bible says. Demonic oppression and possession do occur, but whether or not not a demonic presence is affecting someone, inventing a jumble traditions of demons and spirit is unhelpful. Prayer, discipline, and obedience to God are the only meaningful answers to spiritual problems. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash me in your blood and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus was risen from the dead through God Almighty. And I believe that, and I confess with my mouth that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Teach me to read the Bible. 
send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and the results of quarters of Him. Get your Bible, start reading the book of Psalms and Proverbs, which is in the Old Testament. Proverbs will teach you how to live, and Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. Now, we're going to pray that God will remove the spirit of Absalom from the body of Christ and from the Christian community. Everybody, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. You are the main source of our lives. You are the creator. You are our deliverer and savior. Father, we bind every spirit uh, and every root spirit of Absalom. We command you in the authority of Jesus' name to go in the pits of hell from which you came from. We plead the blood of Jesus against you right now. God, release humility, submission on today, God. Release, oh God, Oh, Father God, remove gossip from the mind, from the mouths of us as Christians. God, help us not to put our mouth on a man or woman of God. Because, God, you said in your word, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. And, Father, we command every uh, spirit of gossip in Lothias and Lothias and and also Absalom to be broken and gone now in Jesus' name. Release, oh God, humility, submission, obedience, a quiet spirit, and a prayerful life. And God, we thank you, God. Purify our mouths and our tongues to speak what you want us to speak. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have been operating out of a spirit of Absalom, God is dealing with you. If he's not, then I understand that God will. He will. He will. As the power of God is surging right now. If you have been with a group of people with that, get away from them. And if you're at a church like that, pray and ask God where He wants you to do. I want you to stay planted until the Lord tells you to go. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests or praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. And box us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash app at dollar sign Blondie Badger. That's spelled B L O N D I E B E D B A D G E R. You can mail a check or money or to make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry Facebook pages. To get the address to mail your seed, you can also email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Your offerings will go to further the kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the partners, prayer warriors, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive and remember there is hope. Be blessed.